Welcome back to Deer Under the 2005 season. It's good to have you, and as I greet you with this weird crouch walking animation. <laughs> but we're in the state of Utah today, and we're going to be going after some mule deer this time. If you can recall from the previous video, we hunted after Whitetail, and we, we were able to snag a decent world record buck as well as a couple record books. And so we're going to be trying to do the same thing today. In the end, the goal is to get a world record buck in each of the five species in this game. So we're going to be working on mule deer today. I have a pretty good feeling about this. Uh, Utah tends to bring some of the big bucks. You've got open spaces, so they're fairly easy to spot. But uh, let's take a look at the loadout we got going on here. It, it's relatively simple, but at the same time, it'll pose a bit of a challenge, but not too much. First up, we have the Magnum Revolver here. Customized in a gunmetal black finish. Sleek and effective at under 100 yards. I'd say the sweet spot is maybe 80. So we're going to try to shoot for that whenever we get something within range. As you just heard there. And onto the crossbow here. We got a custom blue finish going on as well as a Excalibur reticle that I did not make. But this reticle is definitely going to help out. It's dead accurate as I will display here at 50 yards. I've taken it to the range a little bit so I've kind of gotten the feel of the weapon. Pretty confident we'll be able to hit some deer with it today. Yeah, so that's what we got going on as far as the loadout. This is what we're going to be using. So let's head out there and hunt some muleys. All right, y'all, we got our first small buck coming in right now. And it looks like his estimate's going to be 96 with 10 points. So by no means a huge one, but a good way to start the hunt so far. I'm going to let him come in closer, and I think I'm going to go ahead and get this crossbow a test run. I'm going to stay prone right now. I want to be as stealthy as possible so we can get close and get a good shot on him. I'd like for him to stop before we make that happen. We'll rattle him in a bit and keep his attention over here. And it's working. He seems to be approaching closer and closer. Come to think of it, I don't think he's going to stop anytime soon, so I think we're going to go ahead and take a moving shot at about 40 yards here. Let's do it. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dropped him right there effortlessly. Alright y'all, that was our first buck. A small one, I promise you they get much bigger than him. But this is a good start to the hunt so far. Let's go ahead and pick him up, see what we're working with. Yeah, so there we have it, our first mule deer buck, and it looks like I placed that shot just right. And he will score 98.3, weighing in at 228 pounds. Alright, so our first buck so far, it's a good start, but we're going to keep searching and see if we can get a bigger one. Okay, now we got a slightly bigger one here. Looks to be a 12-pointer, maybe 13, according to the hunting guess, but I don't see any more than 11 from here. We're going to better look at him, hopefully, but I'm going to try to take him as well. I'm going to bring out the antlers to bring them in closer. Since we are hunting during the rut season, the antlers are the most effective call to use during this time next to the doe and heat caller, which I did not bring. There is a calling skill in this game, and the higher your skill is, the less of a chance you have to make a blown call, which is basically a botched call. It's ineffective, and 9 times out of 10, it will make the deer flee. With the antlers, there really is no chance for a blown call, so that's why I'm using them right now. Alright, I've been working on trying to get this buck to stop for a minute now, but we got him stopped here at 60 yards. We're going to go for it. Had some brushing away, but I still managed to hit him. I don't know how well. Going to try to find him. Lost a few of them. Where did he go? Ah, there he is there. And it looks like he's slowing down. That's a good sign. It means he's going to go down. Which should happen about right there. Perfect. All right, and that buck is going to score 154.4, weighing at 229 pounds. He's better than the last one, but there are bigger ones to be found here in Utah. So let's keep going. Finally, I've set my sights on a record book buck. He's got an estimate of 216, and I definitely like the look of this guy. And I'd like to get closer so we can use the crossbow on him. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. He's going to go into the water. I can't shoot him in the water. Otherwise, that'll forfeit my back limit. And I definitely don't want that to happen. 
So we're probably going to have to actually move around the lake here. So we can get to a point where we can confront him. We're just going to take it nice and easy. I definitely don't want to spook this guy. I've got the record book buck here in front of me. But there just happens to be another smaller buck around here too. I used my Ertlico a few times. And these two bucks look standoffish. So something tells me that they're about to clash. Which would be cool to see. Buck fights are actually a thing in this game. And it's cool to see them. Might end up spooking him with how close I am. I don't know. Hold on. And there they go. Right there in front of me, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know if I'll be able to make this shot. We'll certainly try. Might have a chance here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Drown him! <laughs> that was epic. That's something that I wish I could see implemented in the Hunter with bucks. It would be cool to find a bigger buck fighting a smaller one like what happened here. Mechanics like that are what made this game ahead of its time. I can only hope that they'll implement a mechanic like that in the Hunter in the future. It would make the game that much more realistic. But the score on that buck is going to be 208.6, weighing at 222 pounds. That's a good record book buck and taken during a battle with another buck. That was cool. Really glad I got to see that. Here we've got yet another record book buck, and he's on the smaller scale. But he does have some wicked spread going on there, so I'd like to get him too. I've been making my way towards him for a little while now. But it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a tricky spot because of all the brush we got going on around us. Uh, nevertheless, I'm going to try to get close, and we're going to try to attempt this kill with a revolver. Alright, so I just realized we entered his bedding area, so I'm prone right now, trying to move closer to him. And he just made a warning sound. Alright. I'll stay put for a bit. Looks like he's on the move. Okay, he might give us a shot here. Oh yeah, there's a bullet cam. So that's how you know it's a quick and clean kill. He didn't even see it coming, and hardly any movement at all. Practically stayed in the same position he was in so we can get a good look at the antlers. Good deal, that was satisfying. Yeah, check it out. That's a good record book buck. He's got a good spread going on here, but the mass on him leaves more to be desired. All in all, a good buck and a good opportunity to use the magnum. And he scores at 188, weighing at 165 pounds. And that's yet another record book to add to the trophy room. We'll check him out later. Check out the rack on this guy. That is one cool looking buck. Definitely the biggest record book I think I've come across by far. He's got some kickers going off both antlers there. Let's take another look at him. Oh yeah. 11 points with a 215 score estimate, though he could exceed that. Alright, I'm going to keep rattling him in, and I'm probably going to get about 50-60 yards away, and we'll take a shot with the crossbow. Which should be coming up pretty close, he's making his way on over here. Alright, he's getting pretty close. I think we're good to make our move here soon. Alright, let's do it now. That shot definitely hit him. Should have been an effective one. And I can see him slowing down. There he goes. He's gonna go down right there. Perfect. Alright, well I can say for a fact this crossbow is getting the job done. I really enjoyed using it. Hopefully I get better with it. We'll move on to the other bows as well. Man, I'm excited to see the score on this guy. Hopefully it's good. Alright, check it out. We got... Well, that's a bit of a surprise. Gotta say. He scores 209.5 weighing at 187 pounds. I expected him to be bigger than that. He definitely weighs less than the other record book bucks with 187 pounds. He still looks good though, and we're going to check him out along with the others. 
This doesn't always happen, but I started up another hunt, and to my surprise, lo and behold, it's a world record out in the open. It's kind of funny to me, but that's quite a buck if I've seen one. I saw the rack in the distance, and I just knew it was him. From the estimate, he weighs a lot less than I would expect a world record to weigh. But I guess he's on the lighter side, he still qualifies as a world record because of the rack he's got going on. It's quite massive. He looks like he's going to be our first Mule Deer world record buck. And I think I'm going to use the revolver for this guy. But I'm going to move in closer while trying to get his attention. I've already rattled a few times so he already knows what's going on over here. I'm not in a hurry. I'm just going to ease my way towards him. We're going to hope for the best. I definitely don't want to send him running. But just check that out, man. The Mule Deer in this game can get pretty big. He's probably on the smaller scale in terms of world records, but still good looking. We're going to make this happen. Alright, he's still moving here, but I think I can make an effective shot. Moment of truth. I got him. I got him, but it didn't bring him down. And he's running, and it doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. I really should have gotten closer. I got a little eager. Got a little too excited, but I'm going to track him. And we're going to put another one in him. Shouldn't be too hard as long as we can get his blood. We can follow it. Won't be no big deal. Alright, we got his blood trail here. I've been following him for a little while. He's kind of led me in circles. My tracking skill isn't the highest, but... Hopefully he'll turn up soon. Might be able to spot him in the distance. I don't think he went too far. Oh yeah, that's him. There he is. I see where I hit him too. And lucky for me, he seems to be coming in my way. So I think the odds are going to be in my favor. And it shouldn't be a problem to take a follow-up shot to bring this giant down. Smoked him! We dropped him right there. It was hard to see, but he's going to be in that bush over there. Alright, world record down. Let's waste no time. Check it out. One shot would have been enough had I not been so eager. But, nevertheless, he's down right here. He's going to score 214.2, weighing fairly light at 134 pounds. Yeah, so he weighed even less than the previous record book. That's crazy. But alas, he carries the world record label, and we achieved our goal here. So, let's go on over to the trophy room and check these guys out. Alright, starting off, here's the first buck we killed with a crossbow. He's the smallest one, but here he is here. I could delete him, but I think I'll actually keep him around for now. And on to the next one, this is the 154.4 that we shot. Nothing impressive, but I still appreciate the fact that everything is displayed on the score sheet to the left there. It's good to have that to look at just to see what you're getting. All the useful information. Here's that 208.6 record book that we got from that buck fight. And this is certainly going to be a memorable trophy right here. This guy is definitely looking good. And it was a cool moment to be able to witness that battle and take him down in the middle of it. Here's that 188.1 record book I got while betting. And you can really see the size difference there between him and the 208. The more they weigh, the bigger their model seems to be, but a good buck here nevertheless. And that would be the world record buck. With his rack standing tall and proud, scoring at 214.2. This buck is impressive, but they can get bigger. If I'm not mistaken, they go up to 230. I'm not sure though, it's been a while. But we achieved our goal here. Here's our world record. One shot would have been enough had I not gotten excited. And I better not forget this non-typical here. The hunting guest showed 12 to 13 points, but I counted 11 and it looks like he's got 11 total if we count the kickers. He scores at 209.5 and I say he makes a great addition to the trophy room here. So there we have it y'all. I'm really glad I got to come back out here in one of my favorite older hunting games again. And you guys seem to really enjoy the last one. So you can expect more of these because I love this game. And I'm glad that you guys like this game as well. It's always a good time playing it. And uh, if you have any questions about it, just feel free to shoot in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer all of them. 
and uh, feel free to give me suggestions. I wish you all the best hunting, and I encourage you to join my Discord if you haven't already. I need more folks to chat the hunter and cut up with. But thanks for watching today, and happy hunting.